I'll be honest, it's 8.37 p.m. right now and I don't want to make this video. I just want to get ready for bed, curl up and read a book and then go to sleep. But I made a commitment to post every single day. So God damn it, I'm gonna do it. Today I had a social lunch with five people total, including myself. And during that lunch, I realized in a group setting, unless I'm really interested in someone at the time or something like that. I'm just fine being silent and eating my food. I was thinking what kind of questions could I ask but I wasn't thinking that hard either. I was like, eh, I'm, I'm fine with the silence. I'm just fine eating. And then one of the more proactive guys, Eric, he was asking people questions in general, trying to get a conversation going. So I appreciate that, Eric. The questions weren't coming to me and I, th I don't think they usually do unless it's like a one-on-one -on -one conversation and I'm really focused on that conversation. Then I think my mind is kind of more active then. But yeah, in a group setting, I'm just fine being quiet and eating my food. <laughs> I guess that's the kind of introverted part of me. I don't know. Anyways, I'm still glad that I organized this lunch. Be a bringer of people together, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, and during my walk, I was trying to brainstorm for the shadow questions that I mentioned yesterday. Questions like, why do you feel incomplete without a partner? Why do you not feel good enough? Why do you not deserve success? Why do you feel low value? And I was trying to come up with deep answers, but it's actually really hard to answer these questions. Like, why do I not feel good enough? I'm like, hmm, I don't know is not an acceptable answer. So I'm thinking, assuming you fully embrace the question, it's like, why do I not feel good enough? What is the reason? I'm just trying to think. I'm like, there's no easy answer that just pops into my mind. And I was, as I was walking and thinking about this, I was like, shit, answering these shadow questions is actually really difficult. Like, even if I'm gonna do this in a stream of consciousness writing, I'll just be stuck. I'm like, oh shit, why do I feel not good enough? I mean, I can list all the external factors, job, income, no girlfriend, but that's not the true reason. I don't think it is. I think even if I had a good income and a girlfriend and all that, I don't think that would make much of a difference. So with these questions, the answer must be deep, but I don't know how to tap into those deep answers. So yeah, my the gist of it is these shadow questions are much harder than I thought. Maybe it's something that I just have to meditate on for a long time and then I'll notice something pop up eventually. We'll see. Man, I bought so many books recently because I got books recommended and I just bought another book. Well, I just ordered it. It's going to be delivered tomorrow. But I have a book about negotiation. I have a book about the multiple personalities within yourself and why you have to respect each of them. And the book I just ordered is about the creative pro process of why the practice is everything. You should not focus on the result, you should focus on the practice because that's the only thing you have total control over. And I'm still not done reading Letting Go or Reality Transurfing. And I still didn't start on the books No More Mr. Nice Guy and Crucial Conversations. So I'm just, and I didn't even get to Power Versus Force and The Eye of the Eye. There are so many books to read and I just keep piling up more and more to read and I'm, I'm reading them but slowly so it's taking a long time to get through them. But I did hear someone say that it's actually not a bad thing to keep piling up these books of recommended good books because at the right time in your life, one of them will stand out to you and you'll go, hmm, I actually want to read this right now. And you'll reach out to that and it'll be the perfect time to read it. What calls out to you at that time. That's kind of what happened with Letting Go, as I said. I had the book for a while, but I didn't start reading it until I watched a video talking about it. Having said all that, I want to read a lot more. It takes roughly an hour for me to read 20 pages, but if I could read like 50 pages every day, that would be really good. I don't have time for a long walk and it's already getting late, but better late than never. Squirrels eating the bird food as well. so fat. <laughs> wow, I ended up talking longer than I expected. 1% better every day, baby.